Do you want a plus 10 wisdom secondary slot item? Do you want an item that's plus 10 wisdom and not all that hard to get? Well, if you're interested in that, stick around because we're going to show you. Okay, so the item I'm talking about is the Testament of Van Eer. Now, the nice thing about this item is you can obtain it quite early, although you will need a little help from your friends. It does require going around the continent quite a bit, but hey, it's really, really worth it. Okay, so here we are in Highhold Pass, and we're here to kill a guy named Dylan Starshine. He's the first guy you need to get an item off. Now, there's more to this quest than that, but this is basically the shortcut way through it because you don't need to go talk to other guys or worry about faction or anything like that. And also, in addition to this, I'm not exactly sure if Dark Elves can do this because there may be a problem with their deity, but it is worth a try or some research to see if they do it. But uh, most wisdom classes will be doing it. This item can be used by anybody and it can fit in the secondary slot. 10 wisdom. So if you're a wisdom class, this is really, really what you want. The problem you're going to have here is this guy is camped. The hardest part is getting in line, depending on your server, of course. Okay, so let us uh, let me show you how to get here first. First thing is I'm going to show you how to get there, and then I'm going to talk about the campsite, talk about the problems you may run into, and then we're going to go ahead and do this quest. You're going to see a lot of druids doing this quest, and clerics mostly. Druids have it easy. They can get the uh, item, and they can go ahead and port and get it very, very quickly. Okay, a lot of high level people will also be getting this quest too. They'll be camping it. Sometimes there's a line of people in line to do it. So it makes it rough. Okay, so come in via Kithakor Forest. This is how I usually do it. You can also come in through the Karanis, but most people are going to be coming in through Kithakor. I'm going to enlarge the map so you can see how to get there. It's a little bit tricky getting there. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go up this way. And Inviso works, just make sure you have Inviso because you got orcs here. You'll notice none of them can see me at all here. So this just proves that it's okay to go in with invisibility. Here's the guards, they're all intact. They haven't been murdered, but most of the time these guys are going to be dead along with the guards. There's always a group camp in there. But nevertheless, you probably want to be Inviso. You never know what happens. But if you get past them and your faction is okay, you're going to be okay going all the way through here. Okay, so we're going to come up to, let me zoom in, time to zoom in so you can see a little better. And I'll slow down right here. Okay, so this is bridge one. Just remember, this is the first bridge. And there's this guy over here, a high pass citizen. We're over here as I zoom in. Now you get a little context for where we are. And good old Dylan is in the middle right here. You can find him on track. If you pop track up and sort by reverse alpha, and this is the easiest way, you'll see Dylan Starshine right there. See, he's right there. That's the guy. Okay, so what I'm going to show you is how to get there. It's, a, it's not obvious, and I never knew this place existed. Okay, so bridge one. Let's call this bridge one. We're going to cross bridge one. Crossing bridge one, going this way. We're going to come up on bridge two. Okay, so as soon as you get to bridge two, this is where it's at. You don't have to go any further than this. And if you orientate yourself towards the middle there, you'll know where you have to jump off. Right off the side of the bridge here is an underwater tunnel in there, okay? So usually you're going to be dubious to the bad guys under there, but it's good to have Invisa. Okay, let's jump in. Remember, we're going to you look at the arrow here we're going to point this way i would suggest when you're going underwater scroll the mouse button all the way forward so you can be invisible and now you're going to watch me whoops i swim to the bottom too fast so see that hole over there you can see it if you turn your monitor up like this you wouldn't even notice it on some depending on your brightness you may not notice this at all okay we have made it out of the water so you don't see anything else on the map here, nothing at all. So come on out of this thing. You have two intersections, you have right and you have left. You want to go left. Let's talk about the levels of these guys. It's important to know. 
his level is 17. So if you're below 17, this is going to be way too hard. I've done it on my TLP server at 20, Cleric and Enchanter, and there was a little danger in there, but um, could probably have done it at 17. You have to be careful though. Let's take a left. See, notice I took the first left, and you got another guy here. He's the same thing. Uh, okay, 16. So just so you know, and we're going to go into here. Okay, so there's going to be one guy over there, and you want to check he's level 14. You got a whole bunch of guys over here. Let's check all their levels. Okay, 15, 16, and Dylan Starshine is right there. He's 16, and we're looking at Smuggler. He's 16, and he's 16. But there is a problem here. There is a roaming level 45 version of these guys he looks exactly like a uh, smugglers level 45 and you really got to watch out for him this may be him one of these may be him i'm not sure where he is he might have been killed already but he he's the reason why i know he's here is because he's killed me before and uh, that was no fun so he can be anywhere maybe in this tunnel let's look for him Nope, level 14. Let's find out where this guy is. Uh, you, I know you're somewhere. Uh, no. Nope, I don't see him. And it's like I said, it's possible that he just got killed and he's no longer around. Um, so anyway, next thing you do is come over here and you'll know a couple things I want to point out is you'll know if um, you're in the right spot. There's usually a pile of bodies here of people that have tried and failed. If you don't know when he's if he's not here, it's because he has a six hour and twenty six to six hour and twenty minute spawn timer on TLP server, and he can um, let's see if this is a high level guy. Nope, he's only six, sixteen, and so he can spawn anywhere from six to seven hours. If you see somebody sitting over here, right in here, like a druid or something, somebody sitting here, or or some a couple people sitting here then you know that he's going to spawn. So what you want to do, if you're not the first one, is see what time they kill him, then you know when to come back and get in line. And then you come back, you get in line, you're going to be the first one. If you bring a group out here, it really does help because you can get extra help in DPSing him down. Uh, and there he goes. See, he's going to run around like this. He's going to roam. But I would suggest killing him there. But anyway, I killed him right over by... The box is where he was. So what you can do is you can pull him to a different area. You can clear out an area and you can pull him over there. For example, you could come down here and you see right here, he's just, he's got these two guys here. So these guys here, you can kill this guy and you can kill this guy. Kill those two guys off and you can pull them down here. And you don't have to worry about the other guy roaming, which should be this guy here. He's only 16. It should be one of these guys. And you pull him down there and you go ahead and kill him. After you kill him, I could swear this guy is it. Nope. After you kill uh, Dylan, good old Dylan, then you go ahead and you loot his uh, thing. And we're going to go ahead and kill him, but uh, we're going to find out where he went. There he is. So he's going this way. We're going to wait for him to come back. You will take a nice negative faction hit of negative 100 with Kino's guards after killing him. But we're going to follow him back. Now, most of the time, he doesn't even get a chance to get out of his boxes there. He's just annihilated on sight. So that what you're seeing is you're seeing him run around. If you see him moving around like this, then you know nobody's had a chance to kill him or they just forgot the time. But this will not be the case. He'll be right where he is. So we got a smuggler there. 
Let's see what level that guy is. 16. So he's sitting down there talking to these guys here. And we're going to kill him in a moment. Okay, let's just uh, vaporize him right away. This uh, You can look at this area here. This is not a bad place to fight him because there's nobody else there. So, um, But anyway, just fight him in his box here. Let's vaporize him. Okay, you've been vaporized. Okay, next thing you want to do. Next thing you want to do is he's going to have a couple of things here. He's going to have the bail list and he's going to have page 30 of a book. You want the second piece. The first piece here is for a Shadow Knight quest to give you uh, a weapon, which is kind of okay weapon. So if, you're shadow, if you want to do this with your friends, a Shadow Knight can go ahead and pick this piece up. Just take this piece right here. It is no drop and there's the piece you have right there. So that is your thing. Now after this, you need to go, let's see how the faction changed here. And he's still kindly in this case, I don't know why. Next thing we're gonna do is we need to go out to Kinos. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, fly out to Surefall Glades. But I'd like to mention one more thing before you come out here. Make sure you get about 100, and go 100 gold pieces because you will need that. Okay, let's go ahead and fly out to Surefall. Now, um, it'd be nice if you don't, if you're a cleric, make sure you get a port out here. Off we go to Surefall Glades. I'm going to run over to Kinos, North Kinos. If you're not sure about your faction, hit Inviso. And you want to go down this way here. You want to get to the exit without running into the trees. And we're going to go through this place. It's so windy. Around more of these. Why they made it so windy, I have no idea. Just to confuse you and me. And so we've zoned now. If you're a druid, you can hit Succor once you zone in here. But if you ever get so lucky, I always like to pop track to see if I see Hayden up here and looky do Hayden is up and he's ready to get killed and you could see if you see Pizen up here or anybody else you want to kill so let's go ahead and on the way there normally what you would do is just hit Succor and go down there but since Hayden's there I just can't help myself and I know you can't if you're a high level character you'll never see Hayden there but let's just pay him a visit while we're on our way down there and see if he drops a fishbone earring. Might as well, because I can't help it, and I know you'd love it too. Usually you're going to see somebody sitting out here waiting to farm him. It's kind of neat what they did to Kino's Hills. They made it so you can get some great loot out here. Really, really good loot. And there he is. He's in vaporization range. Okay, hello Hayden. Let's see if... You have the fishbone earring. Well, he has a fishing pole. Okay, so we don't want his uh, fishing pole. So now, let's go ahead and succor to the bottom. It'll put us at the bottom of the screen here. So now we're at the bottom right here. And let's head south into Kinos. This guy, he still likes me. And into Kinos we go. Zoning in. So the next guy we want to look for, his name is, starts with an M, is uh, Modoro Finharm. 
Okay, so that's who we're going to look for. You may want to track him or I'll show you where he is. And he moves around a little bit. So in we go to Kinos. And make sure your faction with the guards is okay, otherwise they'll attack you. If you're not sure, just hit Inviso here. And we're going around here. He should be somewhere around here. He's either on the lake right here, or if he's not there, he's in this building sometimes. Okay, so there he is. And you'll notice if you hail him, this is what he says. He just says, oh, blah, blah, blah. So what you do is you come into here, give him two gold. First, you're going to give him two gold. And he gives you the container right here. Notice the container like that. And make sure you have an open slot here. You put one of the pages in here. Now you need to get the other pieces to this. Let's go ahead and close this here. If you hail him, he doesn't say anything. So you say, said, I want page 34. He says, uh, give me four gold and let's play a game. And if you get the gesture, I'll give you the page, okay? So all you do here, let's open this here because we're going to do a combine later. Go back to this. If you're not, if you don't have the gold, just go to the Kinos Bank in South Kinos. Give them four. And this is not it. And I want to show you what I've gotten so far. This is the beggar card. So let's uh, get rid of this here. Let's see how many it takes before we get it. It's not important, you can afford it, but you're looking for the Jester card. Give him four more. And he keeps giving us this guy here. And one more. Come on, cough it up. Why are you still giving us the same one? Maybe bring more gold <laughs> if it doesn't work. Jeez, look at this. Come on, otherwise we'll have to kill you. Uh-oh, that's strange. Let's hope it's not bugged. Okay, now I'm going to keep it here. I want to know. This is probably the most cons time-consuming part, and we got it. There you go. This is it. Okay, so one out of six tries. This is the jester. This is the one he wants, okay? So get this, give to him, and ding, he gives you this. You have page 34, and you got page 30 from Killing Dylan's Starshine. Okay, these are the two pieces. Okay, so now that you got these, get ready. Here's the big moment. Let's hit combine. And there, you have it. There it is, everybody. There it is. So this is your prize that you came for, and... If your TLP server has mana preservation on it, uh, this is going to be great. It'll be working. If it doesn't, it's still an awesome item. Look at this. You get 10 wisdom plus 10 mana. It's just a fantastic item, and it fits into the, the range slot item here. I mean, the secondary item. So let's take it out and see what it looks like. It looks just like a book. Kind of, It could be any old book, but it looks cool when you carry it. So there it is. This is how you, you do it here. Uh, let's take this out. Put our much better thing in here. And so there it is, guys. And that is it. Testament of Vanir. Just for you here. Magic secondary item. Great, fantastic item. Okay. So, um, yeah. So this is a guy. Remember, he does go outside. Back out to where the... Uh, the water, the little lit pond is out here. You'll see him, he'll sit right out here. This is his other place, so look for him in there or over there. I have a height filter on. You can see you come in through here, go around here. 
very very easy place to find near the monk guild okay good luck on this and i hope all of you get this uh wonderful item because it is really one of the best and slot items you can get in Classic at an early time. All right, thanks for watching and good luck to you.